All right, guys, thanks for joining me on this next project here. We're going to be doing the front uh, brakes, replacing the brake pads and rotors. It's identical on both sides, so I'll just be showing you the driver's side today. All right, guys, so we're going to need to put a uh, jack stand underneath the frame here. Uh, we're going to jack it up just enough to get some weight off the vehicle uh, so we can uh, get the lug nuts off. Those are three quarter inch lug nut bolts. So once you get those all loose, you can pull the tire off and set it aside. In my case, I have a uh, two inch wheel spacer that I have to remove behind there. Um, in order for uh, those to be removed, you'll have to get someone on the inside to hit the brakes so you can lock up the wheels to uh, undo those bolts. So in order to get the brake caliper off, there's two bolts, a 14 millimeter uh, socket will work on both of them. Going to need to loosen that up, pull the bolt all the way out and save them because you'll need to reuse those. So in order to get the brake caliper off itself, sometimes you'll need to get a screwdriver in the top to uh, release it from the rotor itself because uh, a lot of times the rotors are damaged with uh, grooves in them and other things so just go ahead and stick a screwdriver on the top and pry against the caliper and the, uh, the rotor and you can just keep prying until it loosens up So eventually the whole thing will just come loose and slide off. Once you have it off, you can set the caliper off to the side on uh, the leaf spring or something that doesn't allow it to hang off of the, uh, the brake hose. So to remove the rotor, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just grab it and it'll slide right off the lug nut bolts. Now you can see here with all the uh, grooves that I have in my rotor. Uh, that's the reason why I was replacing it, plus the pads were completely worn out. That's both on front and back of the rotor. In order to put the new rotor back on, it's pretty much the same way as it came off. You just line up the threads through the holes and just slide it back on. Um, one thing you want to make sure is that whole plate there is uh, nice and clean uh, of debris and whatnot, so you can slide it back on. So once you have the rotor back on, you're going to want to get the brake pads off the caliper. Uh, they pretty much just slide right off. You can see the springs when they come out. It's pretty simple. So you might need to get a little screwdriver underneath. There's a little gap at the bottom of this pad that you're going to pry forward and then back and it'll just slide right off. The reason why I pried forward is to break the seal. So, you can see the difference between the old pad and the new pad, and that's the reason why I was replacing them. Um, so, you're going to need to uh, compress this rear cylinder back to allow for the new thickness of pad to, so you can get back over the, the new rotor. Uh, in order to do that, you're going to put the old pad back in and then get a, a C-clamp and put it uh, on the front edge of the, the old pad to the back edge of the caliper.
So you're just going to tighten the C-clamp down and eventually that caliper will start uh, compressing the cylinder back and uh, you're going to want to make sure you have enough gap between the two so they can slide back over the rotor. So when you're putting the new pads back in you're going to want to make sure that the uh, pads are aligned uh, correctly. There's a tooth on one side and a flat edge on the other side. The tooth goes to the bottom of the caliper so it slides along a, uh, a groove on the, the actual uh, brake housing. See there it lines up to the bottom. So when you slide it back on um, you know you want both grooves at the bottom so they, they uh, slide over this um, bottom piece. So once you have the pads back into the caliper, you're going to want to make sure those teeth that I'm pointing out there line up to the bottom of the brake mounting system. See here, uh, you want to make sure that they're lined up properly on that piece there so that it slides on and the top slide in nicely. Now sometimes you'll have to uh, decompress that bolt there. Um, <clears throat> you saw with my left hand there that I pulled that bolt out. And then you're going to want to put both the bolts back in, uh, hand tighten them for now, and then uh, just to get the threads in there, and then go ahead and tighten them down. One thing to note here is the brake rotor itself is actually a floating ro rotor until you get the wheel mounted on the studs. So when you're tightening down the lug nuts, make sure you tighten them down in a cross pattern. It helps to make sure that the whole uh, plate assembly is uh, tightened down evenly. Go ahead and put your wheel back on, drop it back down to the ground, and repeat the same steps to the other side.